Hi everyone. Right. Um, I've got like a little, a ah, little teaser for you. Why not? Right. So, I'm going to ask a question. And you've got to answer it correctly. And if you get it right, we'll win this. And it's a very, very simple, very quick, very easy uh, mini book. And I've sat and done this this afternoon, and I'm going to show you. Yes, it is started, but I'm not going to finish it. Because I think somebody else would like to finish this, probably. Hopefully. And you only have to answer a question, okay? So, first of all, let me run through the book. How I made it was I took an A4 card. It's all very thick, good quality card. does have a texture to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so you'll have to imagine that's an A4 sheet. And what you do is you fold the A4 sheet in half. So that's what we'll do. Fold the A4 sheet in half. And then you score on the top um, a centimetre down the side. And you score down the other side a centimetre. You then open the book and you cut out, not the bit you've scored, not that, because that has to fold over. But the bit on the other side, you will cut that out a centimetre. Okay? So you're cutting the strip off and it looks like that. And then if you just fold it and snip it the side to make it look like a tag. Okay? Then all you do is double side it, tape down there. You fold the page in. And you just cross over like that and you have a page. Now the way I've hidden these fold overs was I took another piece of card, the same measurement as that, and just laid it on the top like that to fit it all. And you end up, you could have two pockets, but your main one is the one in the middle there. Okay? So that's how the book was made. And then all you do is put your hold in the top here, in the end here, on the fold, and then um, put your eyelets in. But that's how the book's made. Now what I've done to the book, and I'll take you through it, the first page I've started to decorate it. And I've left it as is now, not doing no more to it, because you might want to do that. You have one of the Tim Holtz uh, book plates, and it is free here at the top, it's glued down here, the pins are in here and it is free to slip something in if you want somebody's name. I've also added one of the, what I call the doors, uh, the door knobs. I've used uh, my own stick pin which is done with the blue crystals um, and then three flowers, three blue flowers and a little bit of trim on the bottom with some bling. Okay, so that makes that look quite pretty and a little bit of bling here as well. Like I said, this is my handmade butterfly uh, with a bit of bling and, and glittered up. Now the pocket holds a plain white tag and it's a double tag, folded. And I've also done the edges like that. Uh, sorry, done the corners. Just uh, punch them. So that can be decorated and used and done whatever you like with. And that just fits perfectly in there turn over and you can then alter it yourself that's the first page it's the only page I'm doing all the other pages are exactly the same and you've six but the tags are slightly different you've got that tag like that so you could use that that way to put your pictures on and writing or you know that way whichever you want and that just slots in there so that's that one um, this one again is very similar, slightly longer, just thought I'll do different tags. That slots in there. And like I say, all of them have a double pocket, so you could put another one in there. Um, this one, again, is a full tag with the punch out, but they're all folded to give you lots of journaling room. And they're all matching the corners. And that one as well. So you've two of one kind, two of another. OK. 
okay and then the back pocket you have six plain tags that you can decorate and do whatever you want with okay but the, all the corners are punched to make them look really pretty um, and you can glimmer miss them or whatever you want to do with them emboss them put your photographs on make journaling mats or whatever it's completely up to you and there's six in there like that all handmade okay and you want to know what the question is don't you right okay last night I did a video uh, on the teacher uh, uh, not the tea chest on the treasure chest and inside the treasure treasure chest <laughs> and get it right in a minute were two goblets and my question is where did I put the two goblets that's all it is simple question the videos there if you've not seen it run along and see it and answer on this one you've got to give the answer on this one and all of you that answer will have your names put into a tub and I'm going to pick a winner and that winner so if you don't want to enter it and you don't want the book don't enter it but if you do and you want this little book to finish off um, it, I mean I will put the ring binders on as well but I just thought it'd be a nice little thing to give away to give somebody something to do the, the hard work's basically done for you and um, it'd be nice to just get that and uh, decorate it so my question to you is where did they put the goblets and if you want to enter it and win then um, just answer on this video that's all you've got to do where did I put where did I place the two goblets in the treasure chest simple isn't it <laughs> It's a bit of fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it'd be nice to have a little uh, little game. Why not? It's not bad. It's a perfectly good book. Very strong. And already coloured in blues. You know, these are already bought. You don't need to buy them. This is already uh, done for you. You might want to put some more on the front cover. But you might not. But there you go. Lots of tags for you to do things with bit of fun. Speak to you soon. Don't forget, where did I put the two goblets in the treasure chest? Bye.